Hi everyone, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're going to be talking about pie charts, how to create a very simple pie chart. This is a, an introduction uh, to for all those of you who don't really uh, know how to create a pie chart. Very, very simple. We have, say, information like this. So uh, revenue by region, north, south, east, west, 12 million, six, eight, and four respectively. And say you need to show it to your boss or to your colleagues or your customers and um, to show how the different regions perform um, this particular quarter or uh, year. So what we do, we'll, uh, the, the pie chart is one of the most effective uh, ways of showing this on our presentation. So what we do is select the range, the data range, uh, just by clicking on it and extend it so we select all data points and then we go to insert and we choose pi. As you can see you have an option of well, several options within the two pi category or you can also choose a three pi category. Don't worry too much about it because you can choose, you can change the chart, the chart type later on. Uh, for the time being, let's select 2D Pi, this particular one. As you can see, Excel has created automatically a chart on the same sheet um, and it has all the information that we have provided. We can now go and change it. When we select the chart and we do so by clicking on it, you can see up here you have chart tools uh, with regards to design, to layout and to format. And we'll explore very briefly these as we move along. First of all, you can, as I said before, you can change the chart type by clicking on that. And here you can select basically all the different uh, charts available in Excel, not only the Pi one. Let's say that we're happy with what we have at the moment, uh, we can then select different chart layouts by clicking on here and seeing all the ones that are available. As you can see at the moment, the chart itself, for instance, doesn't have any information, any data labels. Uh, we can include them by clicking on this particular one. And as you can see now, the legend has now been incorporated in the chart itself. So you have north and here it's showing to you the percentage. So 12, uh, 12 million is 40% of the total revenue that we have included. We can select different types. So for instance, this will say just west 4, north 12, etc, etc. It really depends on your requirements, um, whether you want a legend like here, um, the, what kind of legend, etc. etc. So I, I really invite you uh, to explore uh, the various um, options available uh, to you, uh, depending on your particular on your particular needs. Um, what I also want to show you here is that from a design perspective, you can choose different kind of um, designs. So, for instance, if you want to have something a bit more um, I'd say sophisticated. You can have this with different shading, etc., etc. Um, really, the, there's a hell of a lot that you can do within, even just within these particular uh, options. Um, in more advanced videos, I will show you how to um, create more sophisticated designs. But this is, as I said, an introduction only. Um, within the layout, you will be able to see here that um, I just want to show you three main um, uh, topics here, which is basically what you have available here for this particular kind of chart. You can change uh, the chart title. Uh, by chart title, um, we uh, intend Excel calls chart title this one here. And it's, it picks it up from that particular cell. You can click on it, change it, whatever you want to do. Uh, but the main functions are available here under this particular uh, tab. Uh, you can take it out. You can send it over overlay title. So basically, you don't resize the chart, or you can have above. You can have it above the chart. 
uh, again it's it depends on your choice legend do you want a legend and here you have the basic um, legend options uh, you can have more by clicking on this um, link at the bottom uh, but say that you know, I don't like it at the top I want to show it at the bottom I just simply click it like this uh, and last but not least where do you want to show the um, the labels uh, the data labels so for instance do you want them uh, as they are now or do you want outside the end again a number of options that really depend on your requirements and then we have format this is more the the way the chart looks uh, and the, how you can um, change colors change uh, fills change the outline the effects etc etc it's um it's a um it's a very powerful tool again I invite you to explore it so for instance um, um, say for instance you want to change the um, I want to click on here on the overall thing you want to change the overall fill of the chart this is how you do it uh, if you want to change the outline let's go and have a look we could change the shape so the color let's put red and let's put a heavier one there you go this is a very powerful um, set of tools to make the the whole pie chart more interesting more powerful and to deliver a more powerful message so this is the introduction uh, we'll be exploring pie charts all other charts in other um, tutorials uh, for the time being uh, good luck enjoy excel it's a fantastic product and don't forget to visit us at excelninja.com. Thank you. Goodbye.